Hey, this is James at Speed Factory Racing, and today I'm going to talk with you about the B-Series uh, front-wheel drive to all-wheel drive conversion kit that we've been uh, working on. So for today, I wanted to get into the synchro set versions of it. We'll get into the dog box stuff uh, in a couple weeks. But one of the main reasons we wanted to do this is because the synchro set uh, that comes in the B-All-Wheel Drive the gear ratios are really not favorable for performance applications. It has a really low first gear. Uh, it makes it very hard to shift at high RPM into second gear, and they also have a very thin uh, shift fork that tends to bend really easily. So, uh, by making it so that we can retrofit uh, one through four or one through five synchro set out of uh, a front wheel drive into the all wheel drive transmission, it opens up a lot of options for people to be able to use any of the OEM factory options, LS, GSR, B16, or any of the aftermarket stuff that's available right now. Okay, so one of the main things to keep in mind when doing this is that you're going to need to retain the B-Series all-wheel drive final drive sets. You'll need the ring gear and counter shaft. If you're going to use OEM, that's fine, or one of the aftermarket versions that's available or that's becoming available, that's fine as well. So for starters, the 1-2 shift fork on the B all-wheel drive is thinner than the front-wheel drive set. And it's because of how thin it is, it's very weak and bends very easily, even with a synchro set. So with our billet retrofit version, it's designed to use your base uh, front wheel drive or the all wheel drive one two fork, and it gets cut and then slipped on and welded in position. And now you have a billet fork that's got the correct geometry and pad thickness to utilize the front wheel drive uh, one two slider. Okay, another difficult thing about doing this conversion in the past was that the inside diameter of the first gear on the all-wheel drive set does not match the diameter on the inside of the front-wheel drive first gear. So this is the needle bearing that goes inside the, the all-wheel drive transmission. These are the needle bearing that go inside the front-wheel drive first gear. So before now, in order to do this, you would have to machine out the inside diameter of the uh, front wheel drive first gear in order to use this bearing or you could use the front wheel drive bearing and machine the shaft uh, the, the stop collar on the counter shaft itself on your all wheel drive counter shaft and clearance it to allow this bearing to fit so what we did is we had our own custom bearings made which don't exist till now to be able to use the front wheel drive first gear on the all wheel drive counter shaft with zero machining and then we also had hardened steel shims or spacers made so that uh, all the tolerances are correct, all the, the, the sliders and shift forks and everything lines up and works correctly. So this shim goes under the main shaft to get the main shaft height correct so that 3, 4, and 5 in reverse all line up correctly. This spacer goes under the 1, 2 slider hub and gets the geometry correct there. This one is actually designed for the Alvin's dog box to go above the cuff, which we won't be using in this instance if you're using a synchro set. And then this washer is if you're going to use the uh, reverse idler gear off of a front, out of your front wheel drive transmission, you would place this under the reverse idler gear. Otherwise, you can use the reverse idler gear that was in your uh, all wheel drive transmission. All right, so now we're going to show you a front wheel drive to all drive conversion that we just did for a customer using a factory GSR gear set and an LS fifth. So this transmission is using the factory CRV final drive set, a GSR first through fourth, and this customer wanted an LS fifth gear to bring their cruising RPMs down on the freeway. You can see here we've got our billet retrofit shift fork. This is the complete front wheel drive slider, synchros, gear set. The third and fourth set is also all the front wheel drive gear set stuff, synchro, slider, gears. If you just want to stick with the CRV fifth gear that was originally in the all-wheel drive transmission, you don't need anything different as far as any of the fifth gear stuff from here on up. In this case, we wanted to use a front wheel drive fifth gear so that we could utilize the tall fifth gear and get cruising RPM down on the freeway. So doing this is going to drop his RPMs around 500 RPM at 70 miles an hour cruising. Uh, in order to do this, we're utilizing all front wheel drive fifth gear, synchro sleeve, slider hub, all that. So that requires modifications to the fifth gear fork. This is also something that we will be offering. So you, it entails enlarging the inside diameter of the fifth gear fork as well as thickening the pads on it to make it work with this. Okay, so here you can see that there's a height difference between the two gears. This is the all-wheel drive reverse gear. This is a front-wheel drive reverse gear. It's the same ratio as the 98. So if you want to use your front-wheel drive reverse gear, we provide you with the spacer, 
it will now give you the correct height if you want to use this one. So since this transmission was a 98, we were able to just reuse his stock reverse gear, uh, reverse shaft, and reverse idler gear. All right, so that's the basics of uh, the conversion kit on a synchro set. In the next couple weeks, we'll show you building the all-wheel drive B-Series uh, billet dog box using the PBE billet bell housing and the Albin's front-wheel drive uh, one through four dog set with cuff using our conversion kit. <laughs>